Students from Champlin Brooklyn Park Academy enjoy a unique learning opportunity. As Delane Cleveland reports in today's school spotlight, field trips aren't just a fun distraction, they're part of the curriculum. Snowshoeing actually can be done by anybody that can get out hiking. Field trips are always a joyous occasion for kids, even if it means having to trudge through Minnesota's frozen tundra. Because we can just get out of the classroom, do stuff other, um, uh, other than sitting in a chair. Sitting in a classroom would certainly be a lot warmer, but there's something to be said about connecting with nature and exploring the great outdoors. What do you think? With trained naturalists like Patty Mayer. We've been seeing the, the kids all winter long and all school year long. Um, every grade level, we customize their program based on what they're learning in the classroom. Mayer and other naturalists work with students from Champlin Brooklyn Park Academy as part of an ongoing partnership that provides kids with unique learning experiences. Our students have a very unique and special opportunity. Um, for example, just alone with uh, Three Rivers Parks, they get nearly 50 different experiences both on and off site with the naturalists um, from kindergarten all the way through fifth grade. Today's experience consists of snowshoeing at Coon Rapids Dam Regional Park. It's a great way to explore in places that in the summertime we wouldn't want to go because maybe there's poison ivy or too much shrubbery or there's too much water. Yet this excursion is about more than just um, walking around in the snow. What? Guys, I found a lot of leaves in there. The students get to explore the world around them. Uh, there's a lot of different ecosystems right here in this, in this little park and so we get out and enjoy all those different places with the kids. On this snowshoeing adventure, the students examine some of the plant life and get up close and personal with wildlife, even if they're not exactly alive. There was a dead animal on the trail. I did not expect that. But even a dead animal becomes a learning opportunity. What animals in a Minnesota winter scene would be a predator? What would be prey? The hope is that experiences like this will help foster a love of science, or at the very least, teach the kids how to become curious about their surroundings. In Brooklyn Park... Hey, who had fun today? Raise your hand. Elaine Cleveland, CCX News.